Welcome to battle number four of week number nine of the FNF Victory Road Draft League. This battle is going to pit the Star Conquerors, which is Benjamator 67's team, versus the Canopy Defenders, which is Edgar's team, Cry Krieg on Pokemon Showdown. As a reminder, the Mega Pokemon we have are Mega Absol and Mega Charizard, respectively. We will be seeing both of those today. And the Mega Pokemon, the I'm sorry, the Z Crystal Pokemon we have are Celebi with any Z move and Vikavolt with attack Z moves on the Star Conquerors. Both are present. We have Crocodile with attack Z moves and Sarmi is not present. So Crocodile is the only one we'll be seeing possibly unleash a Z move today. Um, I just want to say as a little preface before the battle starts, I'm sorry if you hear any voices in the background. It is a little bit loud today couldn't find a quiet spot um so let's get into it i think that gastrodon could actually be a very valuable asset to benjamator being able to resist flare blitz and gastrodon is pretty bulky um outrage could do some pretty big damage but if it's defensively invested and it goes for earth power that could actually be pretty devastating for mega charizard it can carry an ice move too, it carries water moves. So I think Woodhammer Mimikyu would actually probably be the best bet in taking Gastrodon down. I think Gastrodon's going to be probably Edgar's toughest Pokemon to face. In terms of Edgar's team, I think that actually Reggie Steel is going to be really tough to face. Zygarde can take it down pretty easily, but it is very resilient, and I don't think any of the other Pokemon will do that much damage to it um Mimikyu could also be a big threat so those are the Pokemon that I'm going to be watching out for and of course Mega Charizard which once it gets things going can really wreck but Gastrodon can throw a wrench in that plan so we'll see how that goes um yeah both sides have some pretty powerful offensive setup sweepers even things that could go right off the bat pretty strong so let's see how they do Without further ado, we'll begin. I think we might see Ferrothorn and Charizard lead. Um, I think Edgar recently has been wanting to Mega Ch Evolve Charizard right off the bat just so that it doesn't get hit by that start stealth rock damage later down the line. Doing half HP, it would only do 25% instead. And it does look that like Edgar doesn't have a defogger this time around, so it would be a um, good incentive for him to try to evolve Mega Evolve Charizard as quickly as possible um, before anything happens with stealth rock. Okay, and Ferrothorn comes in, but Crocodile's the one to come in, not uh, Charizard. And Ferrothorn is named Hug Me. Oh, Charizard does come in, Stealth Rock goes up, so he did predict that Stealth Rock going up brought in Charizard safely before the Stealth Rock could go up, and now Charizard's at an advantage. It could, use, it could use Flare Blitz. It goes for the Dragon Dance instead, though. Gyro Ball hits pretty hard, 36%, but it's a critical hit. Um, I don't think Ferrothorn will live to see another day if it decides to stay in versus this Dragon Dance Charizard. And Gastrodon comes in, Swampy, another Dragon Dance. Earth Power is threatening to Mega Charizard, but will an Outrage from Mega Charizard with plus two from the Dragon Dance be enough to take down Gastrodon? I think if it's defensively invested, maybe it won't be enough, but I'm not sure. Let's see. I think Edgar is really considering whether he wants to try to go for the sweep or if he wants to switch out to something a little bit safer versus Gastrodon. Gastrodon. 
If Gastrodon's eliminated, this could easily be game for Edgar. I think the only other hurdle would be a Sucker Punch from Mega Absol. Or if something has a surprise Focus Ash. So Gastrodon really is uh, Benji's last stand versus Charizard right now. Okay, and Charizard goes for the Dragon Claw, takes down Gastrodon. Not good news for the Star Conquerors. Absol's the one to come in. It's got to be able to Sucker Punch it. If not, this could easily be game. And Sucker Punch does hit, taking down Mega Charizard. 5 5 score. That critical hit might have mattered. Either way, the Star Conquerors live to see another day. If Charizard took down Absol, I think that was pretty much it. And now Aegis the Registeel is out. Knockoff is going to get rid of those leftovers, and Toxic is going to be Magic Bounce right back at Registeel. Yeah, Magic Bounce makes Registeel versus Mega Absol a very tough fight for Registeel. All I could do is really Seismic Toss at this point. Yeah, it seems like Edgar forgot about Magic Bounce. <laughs> 10 trillion IQ moment. Alright, Generog comes out. And Sucker Punch is going to fail. Earthquake takes down Absol in one hit. Absol might have wanted to sucker uh, to knock off instead. Generog is probably choice scarfed because Garchomp went first when otherwise it probably shouldn't have versus Mega Absol, which is relatively speedy. Celery, the Celebi, is out to take what Generog can throw. Maybe now we'll see Registeel come back in? Either that or Mimikyu. <clears throat> oh no, Generog stays out versus the Earthquake. Dazzling Gleam's going to do a big portion, 59%. In comes Registeel to take the Dazzling Gleam. Shattered Psyche hits, doing about 27% to Registeel. Not a really good use of the Z-move against Registeel. And Registeel goes for the Toxic. Selby does have Natural Cure, however, so if it switches out, the Toxic is just gone. Celebi going for that restoration with the Giga Drain. Seismic Toss is going to bring Celebi down, and it is at it is within KO range. There's a lot of really strong Pokemon on Edgar's side that are also fast, so Celebi is going to have a hard time breaking through. Celebi's final Giga Drain takes down Reggie Steel, but it goes down in the process to Toxic Damage. Okay, and in comes Vigavolt and Crocodile. Not the best matchup for Vigavolt, but it does get Energy Ball. If Stone Edge from Cro Crocodile doing massive damage. Energy Ball taking down Crocodile. I forgot it has Levitate, actually. I was like, oh no, Earthquake. But it's also Bug-type, so it would be neutral anyways. Anyways, we have a 3-3 score. S slight lead, I'd say, for Edgar due to the fact that Vigavolt is down to its... Uh, down to 28% and it is a slow Pokemon so I don't think it'll be able to take another hit <clears throat> I 
Edgar probably saving Mimikyu for Zygarde. What will be the next Pokemon to come in? Tough decision. And Ni Nihilus or Nihilus is the one to come in. It's Nihiligo. And a Power Gem is going to take down Vigavolt. It has a balloon attached, and it has 1.5 times special attack due to the beast boost. Ferrothorn is the one to come out next. A gyro ball from Ferrothorn could actually take down Nihilus pretty fast. Nihilus. <laughs> Still don't know how to pronounce it. Gyro ball actually damages the rest of the Pokemon pretty, pretty hard. If Nihilus has HP Fire, that could actually be really good for it. Oh, and Mimic the Mimikyu instead comes out, taking the Gyro Ball. Disguise is broken. And Mimikyu goes for the Will-O-Wisp. Gyro Ball still doing massive damage, 76%. I think Mimic won't be able to switch into Stealth Rocks again, or if it does, it'll be at like 1 HP. Generog comes out, and uh, it's Leech Seated. Ferrothorn proving to be that strong wall, but a Fire Blast is going to do some big damage to it. 17% left for Ferrothorn, hanging on by a string there. And Nihilus comes out. I think it probably has Dazzling Gleam. It goes for the Power Gem. Dazzling Gleam could be enough to take down Zygarde. Now, the Air Balloon doesn't matter to Zygarde because of the fact that Thousand Arrows hits regardless if Air Balloon, Air Balloon is there or not. Sludge Wave doesn't do that much damage. Thousand Arrows does hit, doing super effective damage. And Nihilus is taken down. Mimikyu is the last stand, but Stealth Rock is going to take it down. And it is a 1-0 victory for the Star Conquerors over the Team Canopy, Canopy Defenders. Um, really close battle there, really intense. Lots of tone shifts in the battle. One side doing well, the other side retaliating, etc, etc. Really exciting match to watch. I really enjoyed it, particularly. I think that it was down to the wire. If Mimikyu survived with maybe 1 HP, a play rough could have been it. So, a really good game between both sides. Really, really enjoyable and a good midpoint to Week 9. Come back for more Week 9 battles coming soon. And then it, week 10 is right around the corner. So I'll see you then. Once again, this is a 1-0 victory for the Star Conquerors over Canopy Defenders. And tune in next time. This is Noel from Mystical Chain. See you then.